there's been a long history of oil companies with leases off our shores who want to exploit and and uh, develop offshore leases in, in oil development. They want to build pipe build pipelines and they want to build platforms. And so um, in the 80s there was a big uh, well there was some big spills in the 70s and 80s and that led to a community-based movement with EcoSlow involved in 86 to push for a measure which the citizens voted in called Measure A which um, permanently blocked any oil pipelines coming on shore in our county without a vote of the people. And that vote in 86, Measure A vote, was huge in blocking um, the kind of development you see off the coast of Santa Barbara, big platforms and oil pipelines. And, and yet the leases still exist off our shore. So there was a big debate through the 90s about whether to allow those leases to be developed by companies that have held those leases. And so the Minerals Management Service was holding hearings, and we, I was involved in some committees, and we wrote uh, re this report here on oil and gas development with the Chamber of Commerce. So we were doing a lot of work with um, local officials, um, con congressional representatives, lowest caps, and, and, and to, to try to articulate the reasons for protecting our coasts and the value our coasts have without oil development. And so that, in that sense, that was a constant during my tenure at EcoSlow, was trying to be on the forefront of guarding against the oil company's next attempt to develop. 